Are AI video generators really as good as they claim? With so many tools out there, it's tough to know which one delivers the most realistic results. In this video, I'll put the top AI video generators to the test, using the same images and prompts, so you can see which tool truly stands out. First, we'll give all these AI generative tools a simple prompt along with this simple drone image, and we'll see what results we get. We'll upload this image and use the same prompt we've prepared. This image and prompt will be used consistently across all tools to keep the comparison fair. Let's start with Google VO2. After uploading the picture, we'll paste the prompt, select the portrait aspect ratio, and set the video duration to 5 seconds. Then, we simply hit the Run button. As you can see, it's now processing. And here's the result. The tool has generated a video based solely on the image and prompt. You decide, does this look like realistic drone footage to you? Now let's move on to Kling AI V2. We'll follow the exact same process. Upload the same image, apply the same prompt, choose the portrait mode, and start the generation. Here's the output. In my opinion, the result isn't as impressive as what we got from Google VO2. What do you think? Next up is Runway. Again, we'll repeat the same steps. Upload the image, apply the same prompt, portrait aspect ratio, and 5 second duration. After hitting Run, the generation begins. And here's what it produced. Honestly, I think Runway did a better job than Kling AI, and maybe even better than Google VO. The clip looks more like actual drone footage. Now let's try WAN 2.1. Same routine here, same image, prompt, aspect ratio, and duration. After clicking Generate, we wait for the results. The video it created has kind of a slow motion effect. Not bad. It definitely has its own style. Now, let's take things up a notch. This time we'll use a more complex image, a man and a crocodile, in a space-like environment. Along with that, We'll give the AI a detailed and intricate prompt, as you can see. We'll focus on elements like gravity, motion, and dynamics, and we'll also include some particle effects in the prompt. Let's see how these generative AI tools handle all of these elements combined. Starting again with Google AI Studio. Unfortunately, it failed to complete our request. Not sure why, but it didn't generate the video. Let's move on to Kling AI. We'll upload the same complex image, use the same detailed prompt, and keep all other settings the same. Here's what it created. What are your thoughts? Let's test the same setup on WAN 2.1. Same image, prompt, portrait ratio, and 5 second length. And here's the final result. After clicking the Run button, the tool has now generated the video. Let's take a look. It's not bad, but to be honest, I don't think it's better than the previous one. The earlier result felt more polished. Now, let's move on and test the Runway AI video tool. We'll follow the same process. Upload the same image, paste the prompt and run it. And here's the result. I think Runway has done a much better job this time. It stayed true to the prompt. It captured the gravity and included particles as we described. The motion and physics feel more realistic overall. However, one thing to note, the crocodile has no movement, which is a bit of a letdown. For our final test, we're using an image of a girl in a sunflower field during sunset. The prompt is, a girl with long black hair walking through a sunflower field during sunset. Using this image and prompt, we'll see which AI tool can generate the most realistic, lifelike video. First up, Kling AI. Kling AI has generated the video and I think it has done a pretty good job. The movement of the girl looks natural and accurate. Next, let's try WAN 2.1. This one added a slow motion effect, but again, the girl's movement seems accurate. It's not bad at all, quite decent. Now let's see what Runway has produced. The video quality is good, but the movement feels off. It looks like the girl is floating and it doesn't really match the background. The realism is lacking here. And finally, Google VO2. Unfortunately, it failed once more. It's showing a message. Failed to generate video. The prompt was blocked due to safety reasons. 
I'm not exactly sure what triggered the safety filter, but this tool has failed multiple times now with this prompt. Comment down below, which one of these AI video generators do you think is better? I'm leaving this decision up to you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload.